What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new series known as Quest for the Best and basically what we're going to be doing, just a short rundown of what the series is going to be, we're going to be finding the best Pokemon in set categories and then you'll have a chance to win that Pokemon. So for the first week we're going to be doing shiny starters and the way this is going to work is we're going to do a series of videos so we'll do all the shiny starters in Pixelmon and at the end of the week if you guys do complete X task, you will win one of these specific Pokemon. So to determine which ones will be the best, we're gonna, you're gonna have two tasks. And out of all the videos updated or uploaded, whichever one gets the most likes. So let's say we do the shiny Bulbasaur line, shiny Charmander line, and Char shiny Squirtle line. Out of those three videos, whichever one gets the most likes will be the po at one of those three Pokemon will be the one the player gets. And then in the description of the video, what you're gonna or in the comments below, you're gonna comment which of the three shinies you want the person to get. So you could either comment, obviously for today's video, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, or Venusaur. And that's gonna be how the video works and. Um, from now on, I'll tell, I'll, I'll explain this in the description. I'm sure it'll be much easier. If you don't understand what I just said, read the description. It will tell you what to do. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. Not gonna lie. And basically, what we're gonna do for today is obviously the Bulbasaur. So we have both Bulbasaur. This is the shiny one. This is the regular one. So as you can see, the shiny Bulbasaur has the most notable thing. Is definitely it's it's a slightly green, but that shooting thing out of it. I don't know what that is. It's almost like it has poop fumes or something coming out of it, but I gotta admit, it is actually kind of a cool touch. It's an actual, more than just aesthetics, it has a different feature, a little aurora around it that adds it. So if we go around the back, it is pretty much all the same, it just looks like a different tinted green, almost like a doo-doo green, more a, a lime green, and uh, this other Bulbasaur is only slightly, you know, it's more of a blue green, while this one's more of a yellow green per se. So that's pretty simple, but I gotta admit that that little effect on the top does definitely score some style points with me so if we move on to ivysaur ignore the size difference that is nothing to do with um you know the shiny or not shiny that's just pixelmon has different sized pokemon but you can get them in any size so as they both look at the wall this is the shiny ivysaur right here and basically this one looks like it has a giant yellow pepper on its back and it also does have that same little aurora coming out of it though but Ivysaur did hit puberty and lose the freckles, so basically Ivysaur has none of those little green spots that the Bulbasaur has, for better or for worse. So the Ivysaur does look very similar, and um, as you can see, it has those nice little fine details on the stem right there, and um, you can see the little lines there. And this one, the regular Ivysaur is just, again, more of the same, a very similar blue-green. The leaves on the Ivysaur, though, do look very, very nice, so I do quite enjoy those. And the ears, again, they are they do look really cool and I, i'm really loving the uh the whole little aurora this one comes out at a different spot a little bit lower it looks like on here i think bulbasaur might have the best one so far of the aurora just because it is so obvious it comes out of its bulb so now onto the final pokemon is the venusaur so obviously these guys are you know a little bit pushed uh to the side facing the wall but is a-okay so this Venusaur is the normal Venusaur, this Venusaur is the shiny Venusaur, and you gotta admit, those leaves look beautiful. But I gotta admit, out of the three shinies, the Venusaur may be my least favorite. It kinda looks like a worn out color, and it just kinda, it doesn't look as fresh and sharp as the regular Venusaur. Uh, this one just kinda looks like, you know, not not boring, but it's just not as, as mint and crisp as this one. So, let's see what the, oh god, that one, now he's just going on all on his own, and um, as you can see, the eyes, again, he, he has very nice yellow eyes, though. That is quite cool. And this one, I don't know. It, it, it's glitching out right now. It, they are just running towards the wall like a bunch of madmen. And uh, this one has the very nice red eyes. So, and even it, the eyes, those it just looks like he has, like, dialysis or something. Well, this one, he looks like a strong, mean, ready-to-battle Pokemon. And if we do fly up and look at the bulb on their back and the, the or the little flower on their back, as you can see, there are some more dots. I kind of like the bulb. Uh, I, I don't know. It has, it has nice designs on it, definitely. And and even those little spots on its legs are quite nice little additions to detail. And as you can see, it has that same flying out effect. But um, I don't know. I don't know how much I like that one. I, I, I almost want to give it to the regular one. But it is not my decision for this episode. So basically, what I ask... Or actually, one thing before I forget. 
there is another part that uh, is important to this. On the side, you can see they do look quite different. So um, if I recall the Pokemon, it is quite or way much way easier to tell. And um, as you can see, it looks like uh, here. If I go fly up to a PC, it, it, you can tell even better. That's where I notice it the most. These shiny Pokemon are much more crisp, as you can see. So these are the regular Pokemon back here, and these are the shinies. The shinies look like they have a lot more color and flavor in them. Well, the shinies are kind of dull and watered out. So that is another thing. I mean, you will be looking at the side semi-often. As you can, you can notice it now after looking at it. If you look at the side, you can kind of see where the um, it, it looks watered out and such. So tell you what your task is. If you think you're going to like Bulbasaur the most, I do suggest you like this video or Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, or Venusaur, and you want the player to win one of these Pokemon, I suggest you do that like this video and then to all of you watching comment below what out of these three evolutions do you think is the best shiny whether it be Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, or Venusaur. If you want to discredit other users, thumbs them down, flag them for spam, play dirty. If you want to add to you know maybe you want your Bulbasaur to win, thumbs up all the other people using Bul Bulbasaur. I think it'd be a pretty good shot to win as again it may be you that actually wins this Pokemon. So that's going to be the first episode of Quest for the Best. I do hope you all enjoyed and I hope Hope to see you all next time. Bye. No words. My tears won't make any room for